Good afternoon, this is Neil Swanson with Nware Technologies, and what I wanted to do is just provide a brief overview of SAP Business One and the approval process that you go through with SAP Business One. So we talked the other day about setting up approval stages, and the way you start is that you set up an approval template. So I'll take a look at a couple here, and I'll pick one that I think makes sense to your organization. So this approval template says, any purchase order exceeding $10,000, it needs to go through approval stages. So first we set up the originators, and this can be one or more people that are, let's say, in the purchasing department or somewhere else in your company. And we check off the boxes where this approval template applies. So you can set up approval templates on the sales side, on purchasing, on inventory transactions, on incoming and outgoing payments. So we want to keep it simple. We just want to say this is affected by purchase orders. And we say that whenever the originator creates a purchase order, I want it to go through an approval stage, which can be of one or more approvers. And these approvers can be local in your office. They can be mobile. If and when a purchase order has a total document value of greater than $10,000. So we see that this is active. So I'm going to show you an example of how this works. Now, first of all, I'm acting as an originator and an approver, so I'm going to play both roles. But typically when this works is you'll have an originator sitting at one desk, an approver sitting at another desk, and you'll see how the uh, documents go back and forth without paper. So here we go to purchasing, create a purchase order, and I'll just say, for argument's sake, I'll call it to Far East Imports. And what I want to do is just pick an item, all right? So in SAP Business One, you can find while typing, or you can just scroll down, and when we get to a demonstration, I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to pick this really cool Trex Titanium wireless Bluetooth headset. And these are $1,500 per case, so I want to order, let's say, 15 cases, and I want a delivery date of, let's say, 215, <clears throat> like that. So the total value is going to be $23,000. So this should trigger the approval template. So I go to Add, and it says, hey, wait a second. This is over $10,000. This document needs approver, approval. So I'll just say, please approve. Um, you know, client IENT waiting. Good. And I click OK. Now, a couple of things are going to happen here. First of all, that document went into draft mode. So putting this aside, you'll see that the purchase order form went blank. That document went into draft. Now I turn my hat around and now I am an approver. On my desktop, a note popped up saying, I have a document waiting approval. Here's my note, please approve client waiting. It came from me as the originator. I can then open up the document. I can drill down to see, okay, some basic status about this and why it triggered, you know, the template that triggered it. I can drill into the purchase order right there and say, okay, we're getting this. Maybe I wanna check inventory values, you know. So if I right click here, I can look on an available to promise report and see that, well, you know, I already have 60 on order. I've committed 100. So, yeah, I have 25 less left. If this customer is looking for more on this Earthshaker order here, I better go order more. So what I do is I simply close this out and I say, yes, it's approved. Okay, to place order. Click update. Now, me as the originator, I'll quickly get a note back on my desktop here that says that document has been approved. There it is. So now I didn't have to leave my seat. I didn't have to copy any paper, run around the office, call somebody on the phone. I can simply do this wirelessly. I can do it uh, paperlessly. And within 30 seconds, I have an answer. So now all I do, you see it says draft approved. I add that purchase order and lots of good things happen. So if I want, I can have that automatically emailed out, or I can attach it right here via the SB, uh, uh, SAP Business One mailer. And what it will do is, if it has the email address of the Far East Imports contact, which it probably does, it'll go in, create the email, and attach that purchase order to the email, in this case in PDF, all right? And there's the purchase order. So very simple very fast, and this is just one small example of what can happen with SAP Business One. If there's any questions, please give me a call at any time. Thank you.